Hey, what's going, guys? Welcome to Spider-Get Tunes, and it's me, Steve. You can say, and okay, so this is a review of Super Sons issue number nine. This is Reboot Series, and I'm gonna read this review from ReasonStacyComics.com. Hope you guys will enjoy this one. Let's start it. This review is written by Jim Warner, and he is a really good reviewer about DC comic books and everything. So I love to read his reviews before I buy these comic books, and. I love to share this with you guys and my comments. So let's start. The issue opens with Damien and John fighting Yagardi's army and not much goes on except the standard Super Sons trash talk. We do end up fighting out, finding out Gardis plans and the Super Sons home, follow them and destroy their world. Easy peasy. Things pick up when our crack low enters the scene and drops some major signs hardline and big shot are not real the whole signs is a bit rushed and unexplained before we head off to crack clothes origin that's rushed as well and we are left with our four heroes and crack waiting for the living planet to arrive to destroy everything after John gives a G with pep talk, Gerdes shows up and the battle is on. It looks like Kraklo changes sides at the worst moment, but I guess John inspired him because by the end, he makes the hero's choice. Yep, Kraklo saves the day and sets his sights on defeating Gerdes in a little bit. That's right, the issue continues with the Supersons heading back to their world with the big bad pretty much alive and well. The issue ends with the Supersons hanging with Superman and eating dinner and Hardline and Big Shot making the composite symbol and forming an army to take care of Guardians. This was not a great issue of Super Sons. Hack. Heck, it was even that good. We get little to no explanation beyond here's what I did and Damien and John didn't really do anything at all. The art was good as it usually is, but this issue had some confusing panels. Still, it's one of the better looking books in all of Rebirth. So let's go with my comments I've above this book so I'm gonna give it uh, what you can say 7 out of 10 no 6.5 out of 10 because if you ask me because why I'm giving 6.7 not 7 or 8 because I'm not gonna follow Jidoi Bionze or Geeked Out Nation reviews because they have given it a good rating but I'm gonna give it with supporting with Weird Science DC Comics because they'll I, I love DC Comics books so that's why I always expect a lot of thing kind of a comic book that depends on storyline and that reacts with the storyline but what I get a sense about from this comic book is it's like the new release VFX movies that is special effects, lots of special effects and fighting scenes, fighting in ghosts and everything, but not that much of storyline. So yeah, you know, maybe you can ask me what do you know about comic book? It can be something. So I'm gonna tell you as a, uh, in an answer that you're watching my video because maybe you like my videos. That's why you're liking it. So that's the thing that everyone's point of like perspective is not same so someone may like it in other way someone may not so I'm not gonna l like it or I'm not gonna hate it this one I'm just being mutual about this storyline because I really love how they presented the full action sequences and full dialogue but in the first two or three pages it was okay but b beyond that I can't able to take that one because too much of action too much of same things happening I can't take it that's why Super Sons is not great comic book. It's a okay kind of comic book and yeah, yeah, that's it. So yeah, not much of fighting, not much of uh, con like conclusive thinking about this review. But I'm gonna give it, I have already said 6 point, that'll be, that'll be a justice above from me that 6.7 would be great. So let's read it out what others are saying about this comic book, geek.nation.com. I told you guys he is a really love about this comic books so yeah let's read what he's saying it seems like this was a issue for things to finally come into perspective for the story and plot for as much as we thought we knew about the story there was still much more to learn about what is actually going on they even managed to throw a twist in there that really caught me off guard you wouldn't have believed it because of the way that they approached the introduction though the reveal was a bomb dropped on your lap so i'm thinking that jedi Beldunze is really loving this comic book so i'm not gonna hit him hard i'm just a 
appreciate I, I really appreciate his reviews so I'm gonna appreciate about his review also about his review also about this comic book and I'm not gonna cut his line and everything uh, he has his own perspective so that's why I'm gonna take it as a positive sign that others are also liking it so yeah that's good oh sorry for the motorbike sound it's very bad I'm not able to shut my windows today because it's too hot over here big shot and hard line I almost with wish could come with robin and superboy to their universe so hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you didn't leave a like i'll hear you guys very hard <laughs> just kidding just leave a like and share it with your friends and have a great day peace